Hello everyone, welcome to College Thursday. Welcome to our Instagram Live at Approach. I am very excited to be here with you today as I'm always so excited to be here on Thursdays because it's College Thursday and we will be talking about studying in American colleges and universities, right? Every Thursday, I bring a different topic to discuss with you guys and obviously your interaction is the key to the success of our Instagram Live. <laughs> so make sure if at any point you have any questions related to the topic, make sure you ask your questions in the comments so we can make this Instagram Live a little bit more dynamic. I do want to say hello to Jones, Zandonaide, I know Zandonaide is our student, Pedro, Pedro is Guys, so cool. Pedro was our student ambassador and he's now, uh, he's, he's transferred to Mary Mac College and he will be starting his master's degree this fall. So excited, so excited, so excited. Jones, hello. Ahmed, Maska. So cool. Well, welcome to our, because it's our Instagram Live, right? Every Thursday we're here to talk about college today it's a topic that it's um very popular topic among international students who doesn't want to know about how you can pay less for college or maybe even i don't know maybe even end up not paying for college right so for today's topic is how to find scholarships in american colleges are you guys excited <laughs> let's see Wonderful. I don't think I've introduced myself. My name is Luciana Barbiero and I am the academic and career advisor at Approach. And I help our students at Approach transition from our uh, programs, our ESL programs, business programs, academic programs to American colleges and universities. And today, more specifically, we're going to be talking about a topic that is very, very relevant to international students that is scholarships if you're watching us and thinking about hmm, scholarships first of all what is that word scholarships what do you guys think what is a scholarship can you type in the comments what is a scholarship scholarship right before we know how to find one we need to know what it is hi today mahmoud michelle barbara welcome so, in short, what a scholarship is, is pretty much free money for you or towards your college degree, of course, right? So, uh, if you are thinking about attending an American college or university, you might know that education might be pretty expensive, right, in, here in the US. And my goal for today is to show you a very cool website that you can try to find scholarships on your own. So this is cool. Even if you are our student at approach, fantastic. If you're not our student at approach yet, that's cool too, because you can also use this website for uh, finding scholarships um, in American colleges and universities. Hi, Fatih. How are you? <laughs> Welcome to our Instagram live. So before I show you, because my, my goal, my main goal for today, hi Lou, my main goal for today is to show you this website that is very cool um, for you to find scholarships, find outside scholarships, but I'd like to talk a little bit about a few different things before that. Obviously, it's nice that I'm going to show you a website that you can do that. And I'm going to show you, maybe I'll give you a little bonus. Maybe I'll, I'll give you a few more scholarships, a few more. I would love to give you scholarships. I can't, but <laughs> there are companies and universities that can. And that's what we're going to be focusing on today. Before we get to that part, I'm going to tell you that the easiest way to find your scholarship is to look at your university's website. Okay. That is the easiest way to find a scholarship. Why am I saying that? Because when you find a college or university that offer a scholarship from them, from their institution, from their 
the college or university you're applying for. It's less paperwork, it's less work technically. So always look for scholarships in the college that you're applying for. Okay, Luciana, easy for you to say, right? But how do I find that? I'm gonna tell you uh, two different ways that you can find that. I'm gonna open here my Google. Of course, you know that I love to show you things here because I want you to be able to find this by yourself. I'll give you a few tips, but the goal is that you can do this by yourself, okay? So I'm gonna open Google here. Let me see if I can do this. You guys ready? Let's see, it's a little bit, okay. How do I turn again? Right here, okay. So let's see if I can put it a little closer. Ooh, very cool, I didn't know we could. So I'm gonna put, um, let's say, Merrimack College. Merrimack College. I'm writing Merrimack College because they are one of our partners. So, you know, wanna show you what they have. And then I'm gonna type scholarships for international students because that's what you guys are international students right scholarships for international students so what i'm gonna do let's search let me move this okay these are ads but you, as you can see here college scholarships and grants can you guys see this very clear so whenever it whenever you know, here I, put, I wrote Merrimack College, but this could be um, Anna Maria College, this could be Northeastern University, could be Bay State College, um, Cambridge College, whatever you want, you guys want. But always try first or here. Type the name of the college and, and type scholarships for international students. Let's see. This is an ad, so I'm going to skip that. College scholarships and grants. Okay, so let's take a little look at that. Awesome. Thanks for the feedback, Lou. So scholarships and grants. Let me move this a little bit. Sorry, guys. You can just see my hands here. <laughs> scholarships and grants. Money. Scholarships and grants are awarded based upon many factors, including but not limited to financial need, academic excellence, athletic, musical, and theatrical talent, affiliation with various groups or career aspirations. Now, guys, this is interesting to know why. Let me put you back to me. Why is this interesting to know? Because when you're applying for a college here in the US directly to them, they might have scholarships for people who play sports, let's say. Let's say if the college or university, they're big on sports, right? You can try to see if you would be able to get a scholarship through playing soccer or tennis or something related to that. Um, they also mention um, academic excellence, right? They will be looking at your GPA. They will be looking at your grades from either your high school or your college back from your home country. So they want to see if you are a really good student, right? Because they want to have really good students. So there might be scholarships for that and that's usually called merit based scholarships good for you guys to know uh stay with me because i'm gonna keep showing you and in about five or ten minutes not in a few minutes i'm gonna show you this the website that you can um find the scholarships so musical let's say um let's say you play an instrument maybe they, the the college has a scholarship for you related to that so there are many different types of scholarships, okay? So it's important to know that. Don't just give up because maybe everybody says, oh, it's impossible to find scholarships if I'm an international student. Guys, it's not. It's not. And I'm telling you that not only because I, re I read online about this, but also because we have at Approach several students who have transitioned to an American college or university here in the US and they've got very generous scholarships. If you go on our YouTube channel and you search for um, the Instagram live that I did with Sophie, Sophie got a very generous scholarship. It's, I think it was more than twenty, twenty-three thousand dollars $23,000 of scholarship at Anna Maria College, which is one of our partners. Um, you know, Aizi also, I think there's an, uh, an IGTV here with Aizi. She studied master's, uh, master's in civil engineering. She got a $5,000 scholarship. So at Merrimack College. 
So there are several uh, scholarships available, but you need to look for them. So now let's go back to um, to the to the website that I want to show it to you. Oh, and I see that Nelisa is here. I've done some Instagram lives with Nelisa last year. I'm not sure if we have them saved, but Nelisa and Nelisa, you know, I'm gonna ask you to share your story a little bit here. But Nelisa, now she has a baby, a very cute baby, and she lives in California. Nelisa was our student at Approach, and she uh, she got a scholarship to pursue her MBA in California. So, and she also played volleyball there, which is very, very cool, right? I think maybe, Nelisa, I think it's time for us to record another Instagram Live to share your uh, inspirational story with our students. But yeah, you see, so these are stories from our students that have been studying with us and they were able to do that. So if they have done, you can too. Zandonaiji said, legit has been approved too. Yes, I think, I think, I'm not sure which... I think it was California too, right? Maybe I might be wrong, but Legir, yeah, she was our our student ambassador and she also was approved with a scholarship at, I think it's uh, as, hmm, I'm not going to remember the, the name of the, the college, but it's to study theology. So yeah, Nelisa is saying true, let's do it, awesome. <laughs> yeah, awesome, Zed and yeah. So you see, I'm just... It makes me so happy to see this and it makes me so happy to be sharing with you guys that these are stories from our students. These are stories from your classmates, you know, people who studied at Approach, studied in an ESL school and were able to transition. There's another uh, story that she's not here, but Priscilla, I'm going to try to talk to her soon to see if we can get her to talk about the scholarship that she got. Uh, she's Pedro's friend, friend, if Pedro's here too. Uh, so she got a really, really generous scholarship to study at UMass Boston, and she's doing an assistantship, if I'm not mistaken, a research project with a professor. So the, I just want you guys to understand that it is possible, right? Sometimes it might be, sometimes we might feel a little bit discouraged because, you know, it's not our country, it's not our culture, everything might be different. But if there are people that are very close to you, even if you're not our student yet, but it, we're telling you stories about our students. If they were able to do it, you can too. Obviously, it's not just gonna come fly in your lap. It's like, here, you want a scholarship? <laughs> you know, you have to work for it. You have to have something special maybe, or have an ability, a talent, or just try. Because here's the thing, here's what I always tell our, uh, the students that come for advising with me. Let's say, um, let's say you're applying for a scholarship like Merrimack um, that offers scholarships. Let's say they say there are scholarships available, but you're like, mm, tuition is so expensive. I'm not going to be able to afford it. I'm not going to even apply. Why in the world would you do that? <laughs> you know, worst case scenario, they're going to tell you no, right? Worst case scenario, if you, let's say you apply for the college, and then they, you receive an application, uh, you receive an acceptance letter saying that, awesome, you got approved, but there's no scholarship. Okay, fine, you tried, right? But what if that college, what if that is the college that will offer you the scholarship? And if you didn't apply, you wouldn't have gotten any offer. You understand the importance of trying? I, I, I always say it's 50-50% that you have there, right? If you don't apply, you get a hundred percent no. <laughs> but if you apply, you get a 50-50% that you might get the scholarship, right? Let's see. Javo here. Hi, I'm planning to move to the US. What what do I have to do for language courses? Javo here. You're always welcome to come to our Instagram lives on Tuesdays where Paulo is always talking about how you can study here with us at Approach. And if you are a student at Approach, you can transfer to our partner colleges or universities without the TOEFL requirement after you complete our ESL program, obviously. Uh, and a lot of them already have scholarships too. So I highly advise you to go to our Tuesdays lives and I'll obviously keep coming to the Thursday one because I'm talking about colleges here. Let's see what else. Put us in a, <laughs> Fati saying, put us in a college in the US. 
Yes, come study at Approach, Fati. And then I can advise you to go to college. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love that Zendonai is saying, come to Approach, it's the best. <laughs> yes, and Zendonai is our student ambassador and he's an awesome student too. I want to see you in college too, uh, Zendonai. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so let me go back because, you know, when I started talking, I, <laughs> I just continue talking a lot. But let me go back to the page that I was showing you, okay? And obviously, if you have any questions, you can keep writing in the comments, okay? So let me switch again. And scholarships. Erica, hello, Tural. If you just joined us, we're talking about how to find uh, scholarships in American colleges and universities. Yes, Zando Naiji will be going to college soon. <laughs> awesome. So, cool. So, as you can see here in this page, I'm going to go back just so you know if you just joined us. This is what I did, guys. Merrimack. Let's see. As you can see, Merrimack College Scholarships for International Students. And I was saying that... You can type any college, Northeastern University, Scholarships for International Students, Anna Maria College, Scholarships for International Students, Cambridge College, Scholarships for International Students, and you'll see on their page if they have any sort of scholarships for international students. So now I'm going to go back to the page, the page that I was showing you here. And this is mostly about scholarships for people who are applying for a bachelor's degree. Sorry, guys, so let me just refocus here. Um, so look at this, President Scholarship between 22 to 24 per year. Guys, it's a lot. What is a President Scholarship? Our prestigious merit scholarship awarded to the top 30% of incoming students. So if you guys are really good students, if you were really good students back in your home country and you want to apply, maybe this is your chance. Trust is Dean, 6 to 21, look at this. Athletic, do you play any sports if you're applying for a bachelor's? Up to full tuition, room and board. Oh my goodness. If you're applying for your bachelor's degree and if you have just, let's say, graduated from your high school and you're maybe that your average, your age is around 18, 19, 20, 21, this could be a cool option for you. Can you imagine playing for a college in the US? And I was saying, Elisa is here in this live and she is a proof that it's possible to play a sport in a college plus get a scholarship hi leandra welcome to our instagram live um well and then there's a bunch of scholarships here family first robotics honors you guys can check it out as much as you can make google your best friend and this is one that i typed that is mostly for um bachelors i want to show you something that is now i'm going to type graduate why am I typing graduate? Do you know what graduate means? This is, this in particular, is if you are, wow, my finger is very dirty. <laughs> anyway, graduate is if you're applying for a Mary, uh, for, um, for a master's degree. So, graduate. I'm going to press enter. And let me see here. Scholarships. Graduate Studies Scholarships. So, let's see if I can see anything. It's uh, da, da. Maybe this is not the page. I'm going to do something different. Let's say you want to apply for, let's go here, Graduate. See, I like to show you guys how it is because then you can go ahead and do it on your own. So I went to graduate degrees and certificates. And again, graduate is always master's degree. So here, exceptional fellowships. Look at this. I'm going to read it for you because it might be hard for you to read. Uh, Merrimack College is well known for superior fellowships that combine immersive hands-on education with Real world professional experience offered in most of our master's degree programs. These competitive scholarships put your career on fast forward while providing a tuition discount. Do you see this? Hello? What? Did you see this? <laughs> this 50 to 100%. Yeah. So, very, very cool. 
And this is one of our partners. And we have more partners that also offer that. Yeah, guys. Just, you know, some of the things that you can do. So, going back to me. as you, This is just one of our partners, that, as I told you. This is Merrimack College. But we have partnership with uh, also Wentworth Institute of Technology. Let's say if you're thinking about studying civil engineering, architecture, construction management, they also offer scholarships. Anna Maria College also offers scholarships. Um, which, where else? Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology. They do too. Uh, LaSalle University also offers really generous scholarships. Which else? Which other? schools that I'm thinking that I'm missing. I might be missing some, but uh, Approach has partnership with 14 different colleges in the New England area. And if you are our student, feel free to send me an email and I'll be happy to share which colleges they are. Leandro is asking IT. Um, yes, we do have um, partnership with New England Institute of Technology. They offer programs in IT with Southern New Hampshire University, who also offers programs in IT and South Southern New Hampshire offers scholarships. It's not as high, but it's, it could be somewhere, I believe from a thousand to $6,000 per year, but you would have to take a look. IT, these are the two that come to my mind right now, but I know there is another one that I can't think of right now. But anyway, there are options out there. Okay, so now that I showed you how you can find it, as I said, why is it, in, I'm gonna show you one more. What do you think? Okay, let's, let's just one more, right? Uh, I'm gonna go back here. And this is, I wanna show you this, how you find this in the websites of the college. Hi, Yunus, Enes, how are you? We're talking about scholarships, free money. For you, if you are an international student who are, who's looking to apply for American colleges and universities, make sure you stay with us. I'm going to show you one more, just because there are a few more people joined. I'm going to show you one more college that we have partnership with, and then you can see the scholarships uh, in their website. And I'm going to show you after that, I'm going to show you the website where you can find scholarships directly. Okay, so that's my goal for today. And then we will be good to go. Ed is asking, what are, what's the criteria to get a scholarship? So, um, Ed, I don't know if you just joined us or not, but as I was saying in the beginning of the Instagram Live, every institution has a diff is looking for something different. Maybe the institution, like uh, the one I just showed you, maybe they are big on sports and they might be offering a full, a full tuition scholarship. Maybe they offer partial. Um, maybe you will are you were a really good student in high school or in your college back home they might offer you a scholarship for that as well maybe you did some volunteer work and the university really values that so i can't tell you for sure one thing because every institution has a different goal um like southern new hampshire university they are one of our partners they're looking for they offer a diversity scholarship so there are certain countries if you are from that specific country, they're looking to get students from there. They might be offering you a scholarship because you are from that specific country, you know? So that's what's very cool. Um, all right, Filippi. Inglés con Alice. Hello, Laura. Ericut. Guys, we're talking about scholarships in American colleges and universities. And since we have more people joined our Instagram lives, I'm going to show you one more. Juliana just joined. Juliana is our student at Approach 2. And you're going to find so many cool videos of Juliana on our Instagram. If you're curious to here to get fit and have a healthy health style, you got to check Juliana's video on our Instagram page. Awesome. Okay, so let's get to business. Google again. As I said, make Google your best friend. I'm going to type right now, now Anna Maria College Scholarships. Oops. For international students. You see that? Cool. 
All right. So, international students, you see this? Pretty cool. Let's click here. Now, I'm showing you. I, I've, I show, I've shown you one page. Now I'm going to show you a different college that also offer very cool things. And then I'm going to show you what you have to do in case the school or college you're applying to does not offer a scholarship. Okay. So as you can see, this is the page in Maria College for international students. I'm scrolling down. Scholarships for international students. We recognize outstanding scholar, outstanding secondary school achievement and service through scholarships. So if you did a lot of, uh, let's say, volunteer work, um, what else? If you were a great student, if you had extracurricular activities, if you think if they think that you might be a good fit for their school, citizens citizens of any country are eligible for these funds, which range from sixty eight. Guys, this is uh, for, I can't select, but let me show you. 68 to $80,000 per year. This is for a bachelor's. And this is the, co the college that a lot of our students are, have been getting scholarships. Um, I don't know what's going on here. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, we also offer international student grants and scholarships ranging from five to $22,000. Renewable each year. So pretty cool, right? Very cool. Let me go back to me. And as I showed you, these are just two of our partner colleges that they offer a scholarship. What do you do? Go to Google, type uh, the name of the college that you're applying to. Let's say if it's Anna Maria College, you type Anna Maria College, scholarships for international students. That's how you see now, Luciana, what do I do if the college or university I'm applying to does not offer a scholarship? Or if I don't have any athletic talent or musical talent, or I was a student who didn't study a lot in high school, um, or for whatever reason, you can't find your scholarship. Another thing that I'm, I'm going to show you now, it's a website that you can go. And this is kind of an outside scholarship, okay? So as I said, ideally look for the colleges or universities that are offering a scholarship there because there's no additional paperwork or anything. You just need to apply and see if they would offer you something. Okay. Scholarships, free money. Keep, keep that in mind. Now, what I'm going to show you now is some additional steps that you can take in case the college or university you're applying to does not offer a scholarship. Okay. Hi, Siani. Gomez, Enes, Sirkan, Gabby, hello, Umut. So keep in mind that besides what I'm going to show you now, there's another step that I'm going to get a little, little trick that you can do too. <laughs> it's not a trick, but it's something that you can do as well. I would recommend you to find on the college's page the um, email or phone number of their financial department. Are you writing this down? Because this is a gold tip <laughs> uh, or golden tip, let's say, precious tip. <laughs> so look for the financial department for that college or university, because in that case, you can send them an email and say, hello, how are you? My name is Luciana and I'm looking to apply for your business program. Uh, I am writing to you because I would like to know if you offer scholarships for international students. Perfect, right? Just send them an email. They will get back to you. They will get back to you. So just do that. You know, you might as well try. So that's tip number two. Now let's go to tip number three. I'm going to show you the website that I've, I told you that I would. Uh, Unsatisfied Vahid. He asked a question, is there any chance to get scholarships with the high school score between 50% and 75%? So as I was explaining before, um, if you were not such a great student in high school, that's fine. Because as I said, you might have a, maybe you have a special skill or talent that the university might, might want or like. Maybe you did a lot of volunteering back in your home country. Maybe you play a sport. Maybe you have a musical talent. Maybe 
there are so many maybes that if you don't apply, you're not going to know. Maybe you are from a country that the university or the college is looking for to get more students from. So uh, short answer, it would be yes. You have to try first, right? And I see Angel, Join, Rosie, Beth. Welcome to our Instagram live, guys. Now, let me open here the um, website that I wanted to show you. Hi, Angel. Do you guys have any questions so far? Is this clear? You can talk to me. Otherwise, I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna be talking just to myself. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I know you guys are there. So let me find, I can't find the, okay. Oh, I got it. Okay, and I'm gonna take you through the steps. We're gonna pretend that we have a student and I'm gonna take you through the steps on how you're gonna do that. You ready? Yes, I see some hearts. I see that you guys are ready. <laughs> okay, let me switch. So, the website that I'm talking about is Big Future. Okay, type, write this down. Let me see if I can, Big Future. You can type on Google, Big Future uh, Scholarship Search. Okay? Hey, Fabio. Awesome. Anna, Isla, welcome. Okay, so let's make it smaller again. So welcome to the College Board Scholarship Surge. Let's start, right? Let's start together. Awesome, personal information. So let's say female, citizenship, international, because let's say I would be an international student. Uh, you can type state of residence if you're some, somewhere in the United States already. Additional information, if you come from a minority background, you can choose. Let's say if it's uh, African American, if it's American Indian too, if it's Hispanic. So you can choose whatever, if it's two, one. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to click on as many so we can have more options to see. But feel free to, t as much detail as you put here, the, the best, the better it is for you. Hi, Lillian, Paola. We're talking about scholarships for international students. So, blindness, you put as much information here as you can, guys. Let's say ethnic, ethnic background, Arab, Armenian, Chinese, Danish, Greek, Italian, Japanese, and you, so on. Religious affiliation, you can choose whatever, if it's Jewish, Lutheran, Muslim, Presbyterian, you can choose that. If you have a special condition, I'm gonna go next. Now, I'm applying for freshmen, it's the first year, okay? So this scholarship search in particular is for undergraduate. Undergraduate is specifically for a bachelor's degree, okay? Hi, Liani. Okay, so freshmen, freshmen's year one. High school status, what's my high school status now? I'm not in high school anymore. Let's say I am a returning adult student. I, you know, I graduated from high school and I worked and I, then I decided to go to college after years of working. I love that you can see my hand here. <laughs> so funny. Anyway, major, let's say I'm gonna, I'm gonna type business here because just because it's more general business okay then i'm gonna go next type of award what type of awards do i want to see internships sure right working opportunities loans sure if i money that i would get and then i would have to pay back after federal aid programs let's see if maybe there is something usually there isn't for international students but let's leave that there uh, research grants, sure, right? What if there's something that I'm gonna be involved in a research project? I want to be considered based on academic achievement and demonstrated financial aid. Sure, let's leave it there. Academic achievement is if you were a really good student. I want to be, con and you, you know, you gotta read this, but like there's a lot of little details that you can put more. I'm gonna go next because I want to show you this. And if there's an employee, or if you are part of a club, organization, part of military, blah, 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 you can go ahead and do your thing, but see results. Now, as you can see, 311 search results. Now, let's see some here. Hi, Elizabeth. 
Lila, we're talking about scholarships for international students in the U.S. at college. So as you can see, a thousand iCanvas art scholarship, a thousand easy self scholarship, 15,000 six stars campus scholarship. There are many here. Let's see if we can find one. Could be the first one. Let's see this one. Sponsored canvas, type of award, private, and closing date December. So I'm gonna click here so we can see. What do I have to do? Award may be used for any undergraduate or graduate. Okay, cool. Could be bachelor or it could be master's, fine. Award may be used at vocational technical schools, to your college, graduate, so any type. Awesome, I see Ly Lila has a question. I'm gonna answer your question in a minute, Lila. So it could be a thousand dollars. Let's see what else it's saying here. Contact information. So this is important that you contact the, the company directly, okay? You could email them or let's open their website here. So at iCanvas, we love art, supporting artists and creative expression is a core part of campus. We're excited to offer a thousand scholarship to art students as a small way to support your artistic endeavors. To enter, simply use the form to, to submit your artwork. Artwork by this, oh, this is a little bit outdated. So you have to check all these little things. Check, guys, email the company. Search for the company if it's legit because sometimes you, you may find things that are not as legit and you just gotta be careful. But in this case, this is outdated, but look, you could put your first name, full name, if you are in a college already, date of birth, and you would upload your artwork. But we're back. Um, yeah, so some of the ways. Now I can go back and keep looking. So. The thing with this is that you can do this, right? It's possible, but it will take you time, okay? So you gotta be patient. It may be possible sometimes, in this case, as you could see, you would have to submit artwork. Um, I'm gonna turn to me again. In some case, let me um, let him know that I'm on live. I am live. Please don't call me now. <laughs> um, anyway, so as I was saying, you could, do, sometimes it's submitting your artwork, sometimes it's submitting, submitting an essay, sometimes it's answering questions. So these are some of the ways that you can do that, okay? Now, Lila is asking a very interesting question. She's asking, what is a full ride scholarship? That's a fantastic question. A full ride scholarship is a scholarship that is 100%. So pretty cool, right? There are universities that offer a full ride scholarship. Um, and it doesn't necessarily need to be Harvard or MIT or anything. There are colleges that do offer that. And Lila, I'm not sure, I don't think you were in the beginning of this Instagram live, but I was telling that Merrimack College, for instance, they have full ride scholarships for people who play sports. Obviously, there's a process that you need to be admitted, but if you don't apply and if you don't try, you're not going to you're not going to be able to get the scholarship. Right. Here's what I always say. I said in the beginning of the live, I'm going to say it again because more people joined. Sometimes as international students, we feel demotivated or discouraged by other people who say that uh, there are no no scholarships available for international students. That's not true. That's not true. OK. Now, what's true is that it might be a little bit harder. It might be a little bit harder as an international student to find a scholarship. Why? Because there might be more scholarships available for American students. And that's fine. But that doesn't mean that it's impossible, right? If you don't apply to the college, you're not going to know if you will receive that full ride scholarship, that 100% or that 50% or that, I don't know, 10% scholarship. If you don't apply, it's 100% that you're gonna have a no. But if you apply, you might have a 50-50% chance of receiving a yes, right? So why not try and apply it? So that's what I always want you to keep in mind. Don't give up on your dream. If you are 
Uh, if your dream is to attend an American college or university in the US, make Google your best friend, YouTube your best friend. Be here with me every Thursday. Again, on our YouTube channel, we have tons of videos uh, related to colleges in the US that you can uh, watch. And if you're not our student yet, that's what I would say your resources. If you are a student at Approach, uh, I provide college advising for students for free. Approach offers this service free of charge. You don't have to pay anything extra. You can schedule an appointment with me and we can go over and I can help you find the colleges with the program that you're looking for. Colleges that offer a scholarship and assistantship. This is a, assistantship is a whole different story, but we can talk about this in a different life. I can connect you with college representatives. I can connect you with former approach students who are now studying colleges and universities to see that it is possible. So if you are watching uh, me right now and you are a student at approach, make sure you send me an email and schedule an appointment with me so I can help you with that. If you're not, again, make Google, make YouTube your best friend. Let's see. Let's see if we have any more questions. Hi, Safa. Mahir. Is it still possible for Iranians to study in the U.S.? I'm not sure I get your um, your question, Mahir. Can you be more specific? I know that right now it's pretty hard to come to the U.S., right? Because we are in the middle of a global pandemic and there's a lot going on. But I'm pretty sure that next year things will be a little bit smoother. I hope. Um... Liani is asking, do you have any information about great universities here to communication, marketing, data analytics? Uh, yes. So it depends on uh, obviously if you are, are a student and I think you are and I think we, we I talked to you before. Um, if you are our student, LaSalle University has fantastic assistantship opportunities that if you do end up getting a job there, you don't have to pay for your studies, which is very cool. Um, I know that Cambridge College has that too, Anna Maria, um, potentially Merrimack College. There's so many of our partners that offer that. If you're looking for more competitive, Liani, I would say um, Emerson College is just, just type on Google and you see how huge they are in communication, huge. Emerson College uh, in journalism, communication, strategic communication, they're awesome and uh, more competitive you would have to take the TOEFL but definitely worth it um Boston University definitely they have they are huge in the communication aspect as well so I would take a look at both of those you know uh there's definitely so much more that you can see out there Martial hello Liani exactly Wesley did you had any Iranian students at approach we actually have um our academic coordinator is from Iran. Yeah. Lila, thank you. Awesome. I'm glad I could help. Can I have your email to help me apply to approach? Yes. I'm going to type um, our admissions email here. Admissions at approach. So this is, this is the email if you want to study at approach you can send an email to our team and they are awesome. They will get back to you. Admissions. Um, so that's for Vahid. You can type there. Again, on Tuesdays, Paolo is here on live talking about admissions at approach. So if you are, if your dream is to study in an American college or university and your English is not ready yet, you're always welcome to come here at Approach and experience this wonderful uh, city that Boston is. Study with us, learn English, and then transition to a college or university here in the US. We will be more than happy and excited to have you here with us. And for me to get to know you in person, right? Because I know that some of you are always here on Thursdays and I love that. I love interacting with you guys and it would be amazing to see you in person too. Um, Leanne is asking, could you write the name of university here? Uh, the one I mentioned is Emerson. I'm going to write here. Oops. My keyboard is not in English. Okay. Emerson College is the one that I mentioned to you about communication. Uh, Flavio, hello. Fatih. Any more questions, guys? 
Thai Fund. Hello. Wonderful. Well, we've been talking for a while. If you guys have any questions, additional questions, feel free to ask. Um, if you have any more topics that you would like me to talk about, feel free to send us a message here on our uh, the chat box. Not, uh, not here, if you don't have time, if you don't think about anything right now, but also communicate with us through messaging. We have an amazing social media team. Um, and my goal for next week, so if you're here with me, watching me now, today I talked about specifically scholarships. Next week, I will be talking about assistantships and fellowships. Do you know what assistantships and fellowships are? No? Very briefly, because I don't want to spoil too much, but you got to come next week. Assistantships and scholarships are uh, opportunities for you to work with the college. Sometimes you can work with a professor uh, doing some research. Sometimes they have um, partnerships with companies. So it's pretty much kind of like a work opportunity, sort of, for you to experience... Um, college in a different way and in that sense some some colleges do offer a hundred percent uh discount if you end up getting us an assistantship or fellowship with them well i just i showed you right merrimack is one of them but i'm gonna be talking more about that next week so make sure you tune here next week on thursday at 2 p.m let me see if i don't have any other questions uh rajit i want to be a university student in the u.s Rajat, I think you joined us. Maybe you just joined us. I've been talking for almost an hour already uh, about scholarships in American colleges or universities. Don't worry if you have, if you just joined us now. I advise you to come here next week. I will be talking again about um, universities here in the U.S. More specifically about assistantships and fellowship opportunities. Um, my name is Luciana Barbiero, and I am the academic and career advisor at Approach. Let's see, Juliana, I'll be here for sure. Awesome. I love that Juliana is always here on College Thursdays. Juliana is one of our students. Guys, you go, message Juliana. She's an amazing student and she can tell you all about approach. And oh, and by the way, again, if you didn't hear me before, you can find videos of Juliana telling you amazing tips on being healthy and keeping a, a healthy mindset as you are, uh, you know, here in a new country, experiencing a new country, a new culture. I think that's all I had to share with you to, with you guys today. Um, if you have any additional questions on how to study at Approach, I'm going to type here again, admissions, oops, admissions at approachusa.com. Let's see, approachusa.com. So if you want to study here with us, you're always welcome to send us an email through here. We have a fantastic team that can help you um, set up your studies here. If you're outside of the United States and want to come and experience the amazing city that Boston is. Um, and if you want to go to college, I would say that the service that we provide, it's free for our students. We don't provide the services for students that are not our students yet, but First step, first things first, right? Learn English, get good at English, come to approach, and then we can talk. <laughs> and I'll help you find a college. Awesome. <laughs> so sweet, Juliana. All right. Guys, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, and I hope you got a little bit inspired again. If you dream about coming to the U.S. to study English or study in a college or university here in, in the Boston area, don't let anybody put your dreams down. Make sure you write those dreams down and feel in your bones that that's possible because it is possible. I told you in the beginning of the live that we have many successful stories of students at Approach that have transitioned from Approach to a college or university here in, in the U.S. and they've gotten scholarships and they're doing amazing. So if they did it, you can do it too. You just gotta trust in yourself and you gotta work, right? You gotta work for it. You gotta do your research and start planning financially as well. Start learning about the culture. Do you know where you want to study? Maybe you wanna experience the four seasons that is very cool here in Boston, right? You wanna see snow and everything. Maybe you don't like the snow. Maybe you're a person that just likes the beach and like uh, hot weather, you know, you, like maybe it's going to be Florida or I don't know. So 
uh, do your research and look at the different states and what the different states in the United States can provide you with. Okay? Rajid, you don't... Okay, I don't understand you. I know to speak English, but I'm not as very... Okay, that's totally fine. I'm going to tell you, Rajid, I was an international student myself. Many years ago, I was actually, in fact, I was a student at Approach and I learned English. So if I learned English, my friend, you can learn too. <laughs> so you just got to, you know, start studying. And definitely, you are um, always welcome to come and see here See us at Approach. Vahid, see you in Boston. Yeah, I like that. I want to see you here next year. <laughs> Isla. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, guys, I hope this was helpful to you. Don't, you know, make sure you start planning. If you dream about attending a college or university in the U.S., you can do it. I will see you next Thursday to talk about assistantships and fellowships in American colleges and universities. I hope you guys have an amazing Thursday and I will see you next Thursday. Thanks everyone. Bye.